a new constellation of European satellites will be blasting off in the near future. After the successes of Galileo and Copernicus, the EU's commissioner in charge of space policy wants to launch a new program. Presenting his ambitious project at this year's European Space Conference in Brussels, Thierry Breton says there's one main objective, to strengthen connectivity for all citizens. These satellites are in low orbit, so they will essentially be used for connectivity. Connectivity in isolated territories where fiber is too expensive, for example. It can be when you are in a mobility situation where only satellites can give you this access, like on a plane or boat. Tomorrow, it could be something else. It's still early days for the proposal, but the idea would be to send more than 600 satellites into low orbit between 500 and 1,000 kilometers from Earth. The space industry hopes to implement this program as fast as possible, launching the first devices before 2027, and providing the first services to citizens before the end of the decade. But the project isn't just a technological and economic one. It's also political, about securing the EU's strategic independence. It would have communication uses in security or defense, for example. When you are in what are called theaters of operation, these are not places where communications are always the easiest, either because you arrive after a disaster or because you are in a conflict zone. And this new constellation could give or allow services of what is called secure communications. This is an example of European strategic independence. Another example is with data storage in clouds. You can have data exchange storage solutions that would be purely European and therefore you wouldn't have, from this point of view, a dependence on other solutions. The EU's latest budget allows for more than 13 billion euros to be spent on space policy, making it the greatest contribution in European history. Commissioner Breton is also urging those responsible to take risks and to anticipate them in order to maintain the EU's presence in space. And it's a message that's being echoed by the sector. Europe has to understand that failure is not the end of the story. Failure is just a data point to learn and to go into the future. If you want to be on the forefront, don't copy, invest new things and uh, allow also failure. That's, uh, that's the magic formula for success. Commissioner Breton wants to get the ball rolling quickly and hopes to present a proposal at some point this year. Christopher Pitchers, Euronews, Brussels.